Welcome to our top five battle. We are back, and today we are doing our top five underrated horror movies. There are a ton of horror movies out there. Some of them are really shitty, and some of them are pretty good, and a lot of them deserve more praise than what they get. And so today we have competing lists. We do. So we each came up with our own top five. If you've seen our previous top five battles, you know how this goes. We each pick our own top five. Neither of us knows who picked what, and we're going to go from five to one in that order and see if any of ours match up. Steven's theory is that none of ours match up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of ours will match up just because of, I think, the different horror movies that we have each seen throughout Probably. the years. So we'll see. Make sure you let us know in the comments below whose list you think is better. All right, so we're going to start off with number five. So my number five pick is the remake of Fright Night. Oh, remake of Fright Night. Yes, yeah, so this has David Tennant and Colin... Farrell? Is that correct? Colin Farrell. Yes. Yep. I always get like all the Collins and the Farrells and all of them mixed up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, and uh, Anton Yelkin. That one. Rest in peace. Missed him. Cool. But uh, yeah, it's, I love this movie so much. And it's so cheesy. It's not like an award winning movie by any means at all, but I love it so much. And if you're going to stick around on this channel long enough, you're going to know that I just love David Tennant with all my heart and so he just is so sexy in that movie i can't stand <laughs> he's it he's pretty great he's so good <laughs> the black eyeliner and like the chris angel kind of thing mm. well my top five pick is a movie that's not very good but simultaneously really good it's cabin fever I hate that movie. I hate that movie so much. <laughs> now, here's why it's on my list because it's so gross. I so much body horror. I don't yep, like body I've never horror. seen a movie that has made me cringe so much, and it has to get props for that because I feel like a lot of horror movies don't really stick with me, but that imagery from that movie just has stuck with me to this day. So even though it's not that good of an actual film, it's it's a good horror movie. There's a lot of horror in it. I distinctly remember my first time watching that movie and I was sitting at home. I was still living in my parents' house because I think I was in like high school, beginning of college. And I'm watching it and I'm texting Steven about how freaking terrible it is and how much I hated it. And the whole fingering scene, I just, ugh, I can't. <laughs> it's a really gross movie. It's but terrible. It's fun. My number four pick is a movie that stuck with me and freaked me out. And it's actually on a lot of different underrated movie lists, which is funny because I just don't think it did very well. It's Dead Silence. I've never seen that. Yeah, I guess a lot of people haven't. I stumbled across it, and this movie, for those of you that don't know, I have a total phobia of clowns, which oh, if you watch any of our it? it, but no, no, and dolls. I oh. hate creepy dolls like Chucky, and this movie is all about, like, the puppeteer dolls. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so freaky. They're oh, is killing that the, people. the famous one for the, pu the, the puppeteer dolls? I think that. Yeah, I think that the that's one that the, the one, one, yeah, because it has all of the different puppeteer dolls. And it's so creepy. And there's actually a clown puppeteer doll, and it is so creepy. And this movie, it's just a fun watch, but it hits my phobia bone, so it had to go on my list. So my number four pick is very much a like torture porn movie, uh, and it is Cube. Oh, cute! This is one of my absolute <laughs> favorite, like, horror, thriller, everybody dies movies. I just love it so much. The ingenuity of the way that people are, like, killed, I just, it brings out the sadistic side in me, and I just love it. <laughs> it's like my Saw. Like, everybody loves Saw, but I love Cube. And there's, like, five of them, but the first one's the best. First and second one's all right. Cube is a fun movie. I, I like remember introducing one. you to that one. And you're like, what, what are you sci-fi original me? or something like that? I don't know. It's or they just used to play it on sci-fi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. October is a great month for sci-fi channel. If you want to watch this terrible, like, gory horror <laughs> movies, it's fantastic. So number three on my list is the second vampire movie on my list, and that is 30 Days of Night. And I remember you introduced me to this mm -hmm. one, and it is fantastic. I think it's probably my favorite vampire movie to date. I just love the way it's done, and the head vampire guy, I forget his name, but he is just creepy and, like, but human. At the same time, it's really strange, but I love it, and Josh Hartnett's in it. Yeah, that movie is very creepy, and it's based on a graphic novel, and it's just oh, so 
just gory and intense and But it's like wow. thriller too. Mm-hmm. Like it's not just all like in your face vampirism. It's just I don't know, I really like the somewhat nuance of it and I love the like cold setting and the snow and the isolatedness. It's just It's so different. My number three pick is actually your next. <gasps> I forgot about that one! How did about that one should have put that on my list honorable mention for me oh man i'm so mad at myself yeah that one if for those of you that don't know the premise is basically a bunch of people attack this house and it all has lots of twists and turns and it is a lot of fun it's a home invasion with a twist and it's a wonderful twist i love it so much yeah i really enjoy that twist you actually introduced this one to me yes i watched it on netflix i think I watched it with a friend yes. for the first time, mm-hmm. and then I introduced it to Steven, and I was like, you have to watch this, it's great. And I loved it, and apparently not a lot of people have seen it, and it doesn't have the highest scores. I'm so, so. mad at myself for not thinking <laughs> of that. This would probably be my one or two pick if I were to rearrange my list, but I'm not going to change it at this point. It's so. honorable mention now. Yes. But I got it on my list. Go watch it if you haven't. It's a real fun one. All right, so my number two pick is another horror movie that I feel like isn't regarded very highly But I saw this when I was younger, it freaked me out, and that's another horror movie where it just stays with me till this day and still freaks me out. It's called Darkness Falls. Oh, you've told me about this one. I don't think I've ever seen it, though. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't think you've ever seen it, but it is just really creepy. It uses the dark. There's a creepy lady hunting this kid, and it's it's very ring-esque, but it's just, it's very creepy, and the way, like, the lighting works out. I enjoy this movie, and it always gets my spooky bone going. Hmm. I have one more honorable mention, including your next, uh, before I do my number two pick, and that is Stay Alive. Um, this is not a good movie, <laughs> but it freaked me the fuck out as a, like, not a, even a kid, as like a teenager. <laughs> and so the premise of the movie is really fascinating to me. So they're playing this video game that I believe the video game is also called Stay Alive. I think that's where the movie title mm-hmm. comes from. But anyways, they're playing this video game, and anytime the character that they're playing dies in the video game, that's how they die in real life. And it's just, it has, like, all the horror elements. It's got, like, creepy people stalking. It's got dolls. It's got creepy little girls. It's got, like, all the, like, pinpoint horror tropes. (laughs) And I just, I don't know if I would watch it again for pleasure, but, like, it was just, (laughs) like Steven said about his other one, it's just one that stuck with me. Yeah, I feel like at this point, you, you're you starting to get an idea of the kind of horror movies we like, and not all of we them like are necessarily things. good, yeah. <laughs> but a good amount of camp, I think, is needed in a really good horror movie. It doesn't just have to be scary, and obviously the ones that stuck with us are the most our favorite. Now, that being said, my top two picks are genuinely good horror films. <laughs> These are not campy, um, funny horror films. Like, they have funny elements to them. A little. I don't know. Mine are really good and you should go watch them. So (laughs) my number two pick is actually It Follows. And this is something that came out a couple years ago. And I think we watched it like a year after it came out. We didn't catch it the first year. But we watched this for the first time and oh my god, this is such a cool concept and it is executed so well. I love this movie. So the concept of it for you unfamiliar with it is that it's basically a sexually transmitted like demon. STD, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, um, basically, the this thing follows people. It follows. And um, once you have sex with someone else, that passes to another person. And so, the way it comes after you is it can only walk in, like, a straight line, essentially. And it just pinpoints straight towards you. So it, And it goes at a slower pace most of the time. Occasionally, it's a little faster. But most of the time, it's just a slow walk. And that's what makes it super creepy. And it can appear as anybody. So it changes form. And the only way you can pin it, pick it out from the like crowds is just someone walking really slowly with their eyes like straight on you. And it is just (laughs) hella creepy. Yeah, that movie does such a good job of the stuff in the background. Every scene, it's like there, Mm -hmm. just like walking towards. And then they start tricking you because then normal people are just like walking down the sidewalk and you're like, it's the thing. And then then it's not. not. It just walks right past them. And the tension in that movie, I almost put that one on my list. 
It actually has a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Yeah. I think it deserves it. But then I looked on IMDb, it only has like a 6.9. So yeah, it is yeah. underrated in a lot of areas. Yeah. Just critics really like this movie, and wow, it was good. Yeah, and this is one of those ones where I really like the characters in it. They're smart. Like, they're smart mm -hmm. characters. Like, they try to outsmart it, and the climax of this film is excellent. I really like how it's done. It's great. Go watch it if you haven't. <laughs> All right, so we are down to number one. <laughs> Drum roll. Um, so, like I said, this is another one of my picks that I think is a genuinely good horror film, and you should 100% go watch it, and that is The Descent. I love this movie so much. So the concept is there's these, I think it's five or six girls that are like in college or like right out of college. Yeah. And they're all going spelunking in this cave that is pretty much unexplored. Um, but I think like one of them lies about it being explored. So the mm -hmm. rest of them think it's safe and it's really not. And they discover things down there and just the storyline <laughs> within this, I love so much. And it, there's like, one character who's just my absolute most favorite badass ever. It's great. Go watch it. That movie is really good. Did, did I introduce you to that one? You did introduce did. me to that one. I had always seen, like, trailers or other things for it, but I never actually saw it until you introduced me, and wow, creepy. It's excellent. Now, my number one is a little bit more obscure one. It's a Japanese film oh, called called Dark Water, and they actually made a U.S. release you from it. You talked to me about this But the U.S. release was so bad. But this is actually, like, this film is just creepy in it. They introduce creepy elements with water and, like, a girl. It's very reminiscent of The Ring, and I believe it came before Ringu, the Japanese version of The Ring. And so this is kind of the beginning of the creepy girl phase. And, man, I saw this when I was younger, and this movie just freaked me out and to this day I, I have to give it props because I never hear anyone mention it especially not the I Japanese mean. version yeah no one ever mentioned. so I'm like underrated film if you want to be spooked and you haven't seen any of these dead girl movies in a while go back watch this one it will creep you out so that's our list I was right we ended up not having any of the same movies we would have had <laughs> your next the same if I freaking remembered it I'm so mad at myself for not it's a great one but that surprised me because normally we watch all these movies together or one of us has introduced the other so that's pretty impressive but what did you guys think whose list do you agree with more do you think her list was more underrated or mine let us know down in the comments below who you side with more and did we miss any movies that belong on our list that maybe we didn't mention or we haven't even heard of who knows let us know and if you like this style of top five video and want to see more, please hit that like button and it lets us know that we should do more of these. And if you want to see more of our videos, we do have a whole Halloween themed month coming for you. So we will have a lot more videos of this variety. Hit subscribe if you want to be notified of when those go out. We would love to have you join our BS Review family. And if you want to check out any of the other videos we currently have up, you can check those out right over there. And we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.